Hi guys, it's Real Talk with Tracy. This is day six since I had my explant. I had these suckers, these mentor, gummy bear, whatever the hell they are, pulled out of me. I never wanted them in the first place. Let me tell you about it. 13 years ago, I was in my late 40s and I was feeling insecure and I didn't like my breasts because the nipples were like, I always said they were looking on the floor for pennies. You know, I don't have great elasticity like some people do. They were, you know, droopy and they looked crappy and I wanted prettier breasts. And so I went to a very prominent, well-known, I won't say his name, but a surgeon in Encino, along with a couple other ones. I went to some uh, in Valencia and they were like, oh, you got to lose 20 or 30 pounds before we do this, a breast lift. You know, um, I said, but I've been this weight for years and years and years. Yeah, but you should really weigh like 20 pounds less. So that guy, I checked off the list, check. Okay, not going to you. Then I went to the Sky and Encino and I wanted a lift. I wanted liposuction on my hips and I did get the liposuction and I did supposedly get the lift, but I wanted the lift without this. I never wanted this. But I feel like resting my head on it. No, they're terrible. They're going to go in the trash, I'm sure. Anyway, he insisted. He's like, listen, I do this every day. And you're very curvy, like hourglass shaped. And if you don't get implants, it's not really going to look that good. And you really need to get the implants. And, you know, he had this impressive office in Encino and, you know, five-star reviews, which he still has. And I kept telling him the most important thing to me is the shape. I want the areola smaller and I want the nipple lifted up higher. And when I came out of a very, very long surgery, I looked at my breast and I just felt disappointed. They weren't what I wanted. This was 13 years ago. And he comes into the room and I said, they're still too low. I don't understand. I asked you to move up the areola and the nipple. And he goes, what are you talking about? They look amazing. They look like they're sitting in a bra without a bra. They're incredible. So... I just kind of lived with it. I didn't want D, A, B, C, D cup boobies. That's what he gave me. I said, I'm a large B or a small C. I don't, I don't want to be a D cup, but that's what he gave me. So for 13 years, I had these larger breasts, which honestly, I never really, um, I never really liked that much. They were an improvement from what I had. So initially, you know, I thought, okay, well, they're an improvement. The nipples are like looking out instead of looking down. Um, You know, my husband liked them, you know, and I would say, God, they're just too big. Oh no, they're great. You know, he loved them. So as I progressed through my life, and found out I have degenerative disc disease and autoimmune disease and chronic fatigue and all these things where I don't feel good. I started realizing as I was getting pain in my breasts, like kind of like a shooting pain, I'd go get my mammograms and they would be like, they're fine. Yeah, but I'm getting pain. My joints are aching. I'm chronically fatigued. My neck is always sore. My back is always sore. My shoulders are always sore. I feel horrible. I have Hashimoto's disease, which I've had since I've been like 18. 
but I feel like I'm always dragging myself around and I'm just tired and I'm getting older and older and older and more tired. And I couldn't feel like I could stand with my chest out. You know, I felt kind of hunched over because I did not want to push this in anyone's face. I am not one of those kind of women that are like, look at me. I have cleavage. I have boobies. Look at my boobies. Everybody is everybody looking at my boobies. Oh, good. No, that's not me. Um, that's not what I wanted. And I'm not the kind of person that wants to wear the tight outfit and show the cleavage and show the boobies. Um, those boobies were for me and my husband. So I decided I'm going to get rid of them. I'm going to get rid of them because they're bottoming out. They look terrible. I'm getting pain. I don't feel well. And then I found about breast implant illness and about all the chemicals and all the things that go into this. And then how your body makes a capsule around it because your body's like, I don't want this. And so we're just going to capsule this off. Um, and I still, you know, these are only two fifties mentors. I still can't believe that those were in my body for 13 years. I mean, I know they were, but it's like, I'm so kind of upset with myself that I wasn't more proactive in maybe going to another doctor and talking to somebody else, because I got to tell you, I went to a doctor in Sherman Oaks who gave me a beautiful result. And he made the areolas smaller, which is what I wanted. And he made the nipples higher. And even though it's only been six days and I just had my drains taken out, they're so pretty. They're so pretty. When I first saw them, I'm like, oh my God, is that me? They're like my dream boobies. I got my dream boobies. So I'm still healing. It's only been six days, but I want to let you know if you're in California, I went to Dr. Elliot Hirsch. He's in Sherman Oaks on Van Nuys Boulevard. He does all sorts of breast implant, explants, reconstruction. He is not only a gifted surgeon, but a true artist. And I can't tell you, I haven't even seen them all because they're still like tape, like around the nipples and around where the, the, the sutures are. But I could tell you just from what I see so far, oh my God, they're so pretty. I didn't realize that I could really have this result. And so, I'm thankful. I came out of surgery. There was burning. There was burning. And then for a couple of days, like so much itching. Um, I did have a shot that was supposed to help with the pain. I only took a narcotic the first day. And by the second day, I'm like, I'm going to be so constipated. I just want Tylenol. That's it. Just Tylenol. And I just saw him today. Everything's looking good. They took the drains out. Um, he told me, go eat steak, go eat more protein, heal up. I'll see you in a month. Um, I had a cell number. I mean, this guy is amazing. I was able to call him on day two or three when I started. No, it was, was it the first day? It was the first day I was panicking because one side was a little bit more um, swollen to me. And I'm like, Oh my God, you know, what if, what if this, what if that? And I called him and he's like, send me pictures. I mean, he was so there for me and everybody in his office and everybody at the surgery center was so kind and, and caring. And I can't say enough. 
I'm really, really happy. So I am wearing a, um, kind of like, uh, after surgery kind of support type bra that zips up the front. My drains were taken out. And so it's going to be a couple days until those openings kind of heal up. And I'm just going to take it easy. My dog is at camp, living her best life, playing with all these other dogs, getting spoiled. And I am just going to eat a lot of protein and do a lot of walking around my house and take it easy. But this is a blessing that I am in my 60s and I am going into my senior years without all this weight, without all this, these chemicals and all these problems inside my body. It's a blessing and it's a blessing to me that I found this doctor. And if you're listening to this, just say a prayer for me that I heal up 100%. Um, there's still taping all around that's slowly going to come off for like the next few weeks. And I could already see how beautiful they look. So I am so, so, so grateful. And I really don't think I want any more surgeries after this. You know, I thought about, you know, eventually getting like a facelift and all that. I don't think so. I just think... I just think unless I absolutely have to get something done, the healing process is, it's, it's intense. And I just want to age gracefully. I have more of a feeling of wanting to go to the gym and start doing some weight training, which I have to wait, I think a month or a month and a half. But I can look at myself now without my shirt on and I can like what I see. I can like what I see instead of looking and just feeling completely disgusted with how they look. And if you're thinking about getting a lift, if you have your own breast tissue, I don't see why you need implants. I'm still going to be a small C cup with my own breast tissue. And I'm just feeling today just very, I'm tired. And like you see me right now, I'm not wearing other than some lip gloss, no makeup or anything, but like the swelling has gone down in my face since my last video, which was like maybe two days ago. I'm just feeling like me. My neck doesn't hurt. My shoulders don't hurt. I was just in chronic pain all the time. And I just feel, I just feel happy. So I am sharing things that I go through in my life to help other people. I also do a podcast called Hi Guys, Real Talk with Tracy where I talk about childhood trauma, narcissistic parents, different things that I've gone through. Um, please subscribe and feel free to share. And if you leave comments, I will write you back. Okay. So sending you strength, love, light for a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. And peace on earth. My number one hope. My number one hope, peace on earth. Bye, guys.